Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple application using the new Flash Builder Burrito pre-release that, uh, or the preview release, sorry not the pre-release, that came down at Adobe Max. And we're going to build an application that is going to run on your Android device such as this one which is a Droid 2. Okay let's get started. So from Flash Builder you need to go up to the file menu, say new, and now you'll notice if you haven't noticed this before in in this version unlike the old version there is a new flex mobile project which is very nice so we'll call this test project okay we're gonna have it use the flex hero SDK we'll go to next our mobile settings it's going to be an Android application it's going to be a mobile template it is going to automatically reorient as well so we'll go to the next server settings that doesn't matter we'll finish loads of source files and I'll set up here's what we have so far you'll notice this is a little bit different from normal flex applications so let's walk through the the structure of this a little bit here we have our main MXML application now all this usually contains is a placeholder view which is going to be populated by all of our other views which you can see over here we have our default package which is main which is our placeholder and then we have all of our different views which move through this now other things you can put in this view are things such as buttons up here in the title bar that will be in all views you can put those in here all right so that makes sense so if we click over to our main view you can see that it's very similar to our placeholder view except for the fact that we can put things in here now we want to change our device since the device we're going to be using is the droid 2 should pick the, the droid 2 so now it will show us the screen size of the droid 2 first thing we're going to do here is to change the well we'll leave that we'll leave the title as home okay so our title is home now what we want to have it do is change views so if we want to have multiple views we have to have a way to do that so let's put in a button now if we put in a button here it has a very different appearance than if we put in a button up here you see now it blends with the title bar and that's something new that I like a lot because it lets you build a very unified top bar very easily okay so we have our button here let's put it in the title bar and we're gonna call it advance view okay and then we're gonna put let's put some text down here this is view one okay we'll put this in the middle at the top let's put it down okay so now another thing you'll notice is that up here in this top bar we have an orientation so we can see what the view what it's gonna look like in different orientations on the device it's very nice okay so now we have that view let's create a new view so we'll go to file new XML component. It's going to be based on Spark Components view, and we're going to call it View Two. Finish. Okay, and now you'll notice that over here we have our second view, and we'll call this um, Advanced. Okay, we'll put another button up here in the title bar. It's going to be called Home. Okay put a label down here that says this is view 2 okay pretty straightforward so we have our view 1 which is home so that should say advanced not advanced there we go and view 2 so let's save these views now what we want to do is we want to have this button go to the next view well how do we do that over here we can say on click we'll have it generate an event handler for the click and now we have this and we can say in in the flex mobile SDK there's a very easy way to push views so we can say navigator dot push push view now we have to say our view our view is called view 2 semicolon done so what that's gonna do is when that button is pressed it's going to push ahead to view 2 similarly when we go into view 2 we want this one to also do the same thing. So we'll have it generate an event handler. We'll say navigator dot push view and we'll call it main home. There we go. 
Okay. So now we see we have no problem. Oh, we have a problem here. What's our problem? Let's see. Oh, the view is not called main home, apparently. Hmm. Well. Yes, it is called main home. Hold on a second. Oh, gonna move that into the correct package. That will solve the problem. Okay. Yep. Now, if we save, we have no errors because the, my problem was that this view had been created within this the default package rather than the views package. Now that's fixed. So we save this. Go to design. No errors. Now, if we play. Now you gotta pick a launch method. So how do we want to launch this? Let's first launch it on the desktop, simulating a Motorola Droid 2. Okay? We click apply and then run. And now you see it's simulated as a Droid 2. Click advanced, it goes to advanced. Click home, it goes home. Pretty slick. Alright? So let's say we want to put it on our device. Well, we have to click Run Configurations. We have to change it to On Device Apply. Let me turn on my device here. And I click Run. takes it a little longer to compile for the device. Now on your device before you install this you have to make sure that from the Android market you have downloaded um, the Air for Android or Adobe Air otherwise it will not run. Now you see on the device that we do in fact have our application and if we tab through if we click advanced it goes to the advanced view and if we click home it goes home. That's pretty slick. Can't do that with iPhone. Anyways, um, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, send me an email. Send me a question on Twitter or on YouTube, and I will get back to you. Also, you could leave a comment on my blog, and I'll get back to you. I hope to post um, pretty quickly here. I'm going to do another tutorial on BlackBerry Playbook development. I have that SDK installed as well. I suggest you all go and download that from the uh, BlackBerry website if you want to get started with that. Um, other than that... That's about it. Thanks for watching.